Hey folks. So thought you get thought I'd give a bit of an update on my uh, QNX project. So as you've seen, this is the this is the marathon shell. Um, there's some YouTube shorts about it. Great, great uh, little little demo of an operating system. Um, I was chatting with him earlier this week, and he said he's got big plans for it. So I I shared some of my changes uh, or some of the configs that I had to do to get it to boot properly on the. Uh, Hackberry Pi. So I think there'll be an image soon for it. So you'll be able to try it out your, yourself and, and put it to work. But that's not the point of this video. Um, the, the point, though, that I do want to share is that uh, the QT is how I was planning on building the operating system for the Hackberry Pi. And so he kind of beat me to it from a Linux side. Actually, I didn't even know about the project. When I saw it, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I thought I would like that's exactly what I plan to do to do. So really great work. Um I basically if I get QNX booted, I'm just gonna compile Marathon Shell for QNX for the Hackberry Pi. So where I'm at where I'm at uh with this is uh, I'm just gonna show you. So this uh, little SD card has QNX on it, and I'm gonna put it in here inside the Hackberry. I'm gonna turn it on, and I'm also gonna plug in this cheap amazon usb adapter which i needed because the hackberry pi does not have an ethernet port and this was the first part so hopefully the lights pop up here in a sec so let's see come on q and x there we go so that was actually very difficult so i'm very proud of that <laughs> it's only a couple of lights but jeepers i had uh, i had to in order to do that i had to write a boot up script that first i had to go find the drivers for QNX that supported it, which was, I had to dig through a couple of their BSP images to find it. And then I found the driver, brought the driver over to the CM5 image, got it installed and boom. And now I have a shell to the Hackberry Pi, which is amazing because that's how I've been, uh, you know, how that's essentially what I've been having to do to uh, figure out how to do the display drivers, which I'll talk about next. Um, so let's share the screen here. So. This is this is my terminal on my Mac. I'm going to SSH to the Hackberry Pi. It's root root by default, and you name sorry you name QNX. So this is QNX running on the Hackberry Pi, which is a huge upgrade because this is where I started. I started with this huge board, and I started because this this board has the CM5, but it, it's a little bit more of a, a development board, so it's much more supported. The board that's in the Hackberry Pi, not as supported. So that's why I had to write the US or get to the USB drivers to boot on startup. So I had a, an SSH shell because I couldn't get serial to work. And I talked to QNX, I talked to their dev team, um, but they're, they're, they didn't, you know, I, I tried what they suggested. I didn't, it, I couldn't get it to work. And I said, you know what, heck with this, I'm going to try going this direction and i'm glad i did it worked out so i have qnx so um the big news here is that what i've been fighting with is to get the display to boot i was only able to do it by hot swapping linux like booting win linux taking out the sd card restarting without powering off the device and then booting into qnx to kind of steal the video core uh, firmware startup sequence for the hyperpixel display. And so basically the problem is, is that I found the, the right registers. I found all the, you know, the sequence, I found everything in Linux. I was able to extract it from the Raspberry Pi image and then bring it over to QNX. However, when QNX boots, video core, which I would, I would get you to think about is like the firmware for the display. QNX does not have right access to that firmware to be able to turn on the display. And so that's why I had to hot swap it and, and boot it that way. Um, and so my challenge right now is trying to figure out that. And if anyone has experience with this, please let me know. I have asked uh, QNX support team, you know, they're they're struggling. Uh, well, they're they're giving me the best answer that they can considering they've never done this before. And so they've they pointed me in some directions, but really video core is the firmware that's running the hyper pixel and there is no 
QNX support for that. So the only way that I can do it, or at least I hope to do it, hot swapping isn't really, um, that's just not something we can do long term. But I, I have to basically build my own little driver that 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 copies exactly what Linux does. And then I do it with QNX, which which I've done. So I have I've I've got a couple startup scripts that I booted into the Linux image on the Hackberry Pi, and then boom, it um it got all the sequence and all the registered IDs and everything, and then I copying that over to the QNX. So this is like four or five days of work. Unfortunately, it's been it's a it's kind of a it's just going to be like this for a while. Um, so, anyways, uh, I thought I'd just kind of share share that with you and and kind of give you a quick update. Um, as you can see, this is the file where I have done a lot of the config. This is the USB startup script, and if uh, if I cat the config .txt, you can see me trying to load the drivers and and do everything with the hyperpixel, um, but I've just not been successful, right? And so this is the this is me trying to keep it alive, like to keep the video core firmware access alive during the setup when you're trying to disable write and all these different things that I did. But, um, you know, I've never done this before. So I'm also learning quite a bit about, about the display side of it. I've never had to do this before. So it's very, it's very interesting, but, um, but yeah, so the, the, you know, I can say that I have QNX running on this machine. It just doesn't have a screen. Uh, and all I have is the USB, but it's a start, right? It's a huge start. And I was really happy about that. So I thought I'd share it. Um, the next step up is, of course, to get the screen booted. Um, and then once I have the screen, I can get the the video or the, the Linux a keyboard driver for the keypad. And then I will have a BlackBerry keyboard interface to QNX. So it'll be like almost like a QNX smartphone. Um, Almost, right? But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you soon.